All right. Okay, Joan. Thanks oh, for- I gotta get off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to. You don't ever have to leave, Miss Joan. We love you. She should stay. She really yeah. should. <laughs> she well, um, in the month of April at some point, I think the second half of April, Joan will be either going live or uploading some videos while I'm in Prague. So great. She'll, yeah. So I'm not sure which way it's going to go, but, um, but she'll be doing that. And cause she's so stinking good. So she is. she's <laughs> she, a rock star. Total she's, rock but star. she's in front of the camera and behind the camera. Great. So, yes. Yes. But, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go any further, oh <laughs> my heck, you just knocked it out of the park. Everyone from Instagram to Facebook, everywhere, there, everyone is just talking about those fabulous tickle. Joan referred to them as the big balls of spring. <laughs> <laughs> There's way too many jokes that could go with that. Oh so I'm my leave that God. Alone. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. And I know him. I, I sent a, a email to him. I got a feeling they might be traveling already though, to the, to the show, to the creativation nap to show that I'm on my way to tomorrow, but regardless, I'm definitely going to make sure that they see it. I tagged them everywhere. And so, um, because I just absolutely him is like my hands down favorite, hemp cord. And not only that, they're like, they're that kind of company that you want to be in alignment with because they totally are into the healing and creativity and helping kids. And, um, Clara's just like the most amazing woman. And so, yeah, so I know she's going to love your project. I can't wait to share it. And, and so Deb, Deb, it, do you say floor, floor Ross floor? Floor roast. Floor roast, yes. which you know it wants to change it to florence. florence. <laughs> yes. So it is Greek. So, oh. so my husband's family, um, he's half Greek. And when they came over from Greece, you know, a couple generations back, oh their God. full name was Florakos. And they shortened uh -huh. it to Floros. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I wonder how they did that. How they just like decided. Lot, I think a lot of, a lot of, you know, immigrants did that um, to sort of Americanize themselves and, you know, oh, that's so, so interesting. <laughs> wow. I had no idea. Okay. That is so super cool. Very cool. Yeah. So, you know, my family came from, from the Azores, from, um, from the floors. So they're Portuguese. And my father was 13 when he came here. And, um, but the only, in the interesting thing there with that culture is like my grandma, everybody was the same name. So it was Maria, Emilia, Maria, Eliza, Jose, Liam, like everybody <laughs> had like, I'm all, do you think you maybe could have gotten a little creative? You know? Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> So it's so funny, but I love that. I, I'm, a, I love culture and I just love learning. And, and, um, so, and I feel like these earrings are just so full of life, Deb. I mean, Chet, do you have them handy? I do. I do. These are my hug. <laughs> I just can't. I just cannot wait to learn how to make these. Everyone is talking about them. Everyone loves them. I mean, so incredibly, they look like they're easy. Yes. For the, okay. Are. So they've got like that big wow, but something tells me that they're not going to be like super uber hard to make. <laughs> you used the sun weaver, the small sun weaver, right? Yep. The, the sun okay. goddess. The sun goddess weaver, yeah. gorgeous, uh, curvy lady that's Beautiful been around lady. now. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. Lady. So 2019, <laughs> November of 2019. So this November 2021, 20, 22. Oh, she'll be four years old. Wow. Yep. She's getting up there. <laughs> but she still looks great. <laughs> she still looks great. She still looks great. And so you could achieve... Um, 
you could achieve the design on the original jewel loom if that's what you have as well. Obviously, we were working with a sun weaver um, this month and, and Beth interjected the small uh, wisdom warrior, which was, <laughs> she is, she too. Like, do you all know each other? No, I don't know her. Okay. I know of her, but I don't, yes. I don't know her. I've never interacted with her. Yeah. Well, but I watched, I watched it. It was good. Yeah. She's fabulous. And she has done some incredible things in her career, but she also has like, um, healing stories that are just, you know, um, you know, just great. And so she just fit right into this whole, you know, healing yeah. and, and the heart and all of that good stuff. But, um, okay. So the sun weaver, um, three different colors of hemp. No, no, no. So just hemp as my base. Oh, and then, then I've got yarn that oh. I want to, and I, I can, when I turn my camera around, I can show you all the materials, okay. but, but it's, it's yarn, um, that I picked up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So could you achieve the funkiness with the hemp? I think you could just the, the, uh, part of the appeal of this yarn is that it's got like, um, it's funky. It's funky. Yeah. I have but, some of that. <laughs> but, but you could still, you could still yeah. get the, the, the ball of the round effect with whatever. And, okay. and you'll see that when we create it. So okay. I haven't tried it with anything else, but I think okay. it would still be interesting. And, you would never know like that this was made on a loom, which, yeah. you know, I mean, yeah, we want to show off the loom, but it just shows how yeah. versatile this product is because you yeah. can make all kinds of things on it. Things you never, yeah. even, you know, thought were obvious. Yeah, a, no, I'm, I'm thrilled because I, I do love the versatility of all of the looms. And so it's so fun when um other designer artists take the loom and they create something it just warms my heart so okay so without further ado and i do see let's just acknowledge we've got some um wonderful robins in the house peggy maria and joan's already doing her thing so i gotta i gotta scroll through here because there's like a bazillion jewel looms shelly's here I love it, Rhonda and Stella and Eli, Liana, and I'm just going back and forth. Stephanie, Stephanie's in the house. Stephanie, um, how are you? And Mel, oh, Melanie from Canada. And Debbie was here before we even started, so I got to acknowledge that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, Joan, what should what are you gonna do? I think Joan's going to. Are you gonna remove me? Okay, wait, wait. I have some more things to say about. Wait, bring me back. <laughs> <laughs> wait, come back. Did you hear me? Okay. So, because we were talking beforehand, which I could see now how this is a no no. We can't talk anymore beforehand because I forget <laughs> things. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or I just have to write everything down. You, okay, you and I met. Uh, well, I think we had met along the way but really our first kind of date <laughs> was <laughs> tucson 20 18 or 19 maybe because i don't think it was 2020 no was, well no. I, I don't i <laughs> i don't think so because i i had the truck i feel like when we met i had my car I wasn't in a rental. I feel like I had Black Sexy with me. And I think it's when my mom and I drove in. Okay. And we were, yeah, I think we were staying close by at that hotel. But anyway, we sat across from each other at the Mexican restaurant in Tucson. Yes. Yes. But of course, everyone's going to know. It was uh, after the whole bead show. It was yes. After they, we closed it down. It was their opening night. We closed it down. We went over Let's to the restaurant. Exactly. And <laughs> the, uh, the goody people, the Dakota people, Joel, uh, Ani was there. Ani, yeah. Ani was there from Joel. Uh, Jen Joel Cushman. Joel. Jen, Jen was there Cushman. because Jen, and, okay, Jen was there. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, who, oh, who just like went right through my mind? There was one other person. 
Anyway, um, that's where our, our history started. And then yeah. I started following you and watching you. And I have said to you, uh, I think a lot, <laughs> how incredible of a jewelry designer you are. And you really are the queen of um, stringing and the way that you take things and you really make it all come together. It's phenomenal. Like you just really, the other thing that I really want to give you a shout out is people should be watching how you present because you are so good at propping your photos, lighting and storytelling just through your photos is like worth everything because i think um it really helps to tell the story of your finished piece and and it's something that all of us struggle with you know always trying to take better photos but you are you're also a master at that so or oh, miss thank you thank you no <laughs> one has ever told me that so thank you because oh, yeah. i i really struggle i mean i i do struggle with that and i believe personally that it's just something that you have to just keep getting at and you just have to keep trying and it helps to live in a sunny climate. <laughs> yeah. No, your your background is like sweet. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It really it's, it's part of the inspiration too. You know, it's part of what feeds my creativity. So I yeah. guess it's good for it's good for a lot of things. <laughs> Yeah, no, it really is. I'm really impressed. And I just really wanted to tell people that because a lot of, um, a lot of our, you know, friends within this jewelry making community, a lot of people are making jewelry and they have Etsy shops or other platforms that they're selling on. And so I always like to try to help somebody, you know, look even better. And so, you know, follow Deb because she, she is very, um, an expert, I will just go ahead and say it because really they're very professionally and, and, and you're not a professional photographer. It's just that, you know, you take your phone and you know, and you just do it so incredibly well. My, I will, I will thank my father who I will be seeing tomorrow. Oh. He, he was a photographer in his younger days, but he's always been a photography buff. And I think that rubbed off on me a little bit. I uh, think so. As well. so. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Well, we have all of your links. I know you have an Etsy shop. I you're do. on the Facebook. You're on the Instagram. <laughs> you're building your YouTube. I'm building my YouTube. Um, I, I had high hopes last year of going full gangbusters and, you know, my whole life kind of blew up last year. So, yeah. um, so I'm, I'm just starting to get a little bit in the groove. Um, I have a, a new setup I'm working on here in my studio. So I'm just starting to get different, interesting content. So I'd love for people to come check yeah. that out. Yeah. My, well, Joan um, has that link, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to have a lot of fun over there too, I think. Okay. Well, <laughs> we're, we're going to um, be all of our cheerleaders. We have like <laughs> a plethora <laughs> and we all want to help each other, you know, continue to share the content that we love and inspire people. So I I'm excited for you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks so much. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, but, uh, all right. So Joan, go ahead and you can toss me to the side. Deb's going to take over. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn my camera down um, because I want to show you guys what, uh, what I've got on my, on my workstation here. So let me get at this at the right height. And Juliana, you can tell me. Oh my this... gosh. See, even your workstation is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that a piece of wood? It is. It's just wow. I so truth be told, I got this at Walmart. Like it oh. is from their craft area, and I think it's meant to like paint on it. So oh. I thought that's a great board to work on. No, so, it's phenomenal. Awesome. Yeah. So here's the little project we're going to make, guys. And I'm calling these tickles. <laughs> oh. 
I just had to name them that because they just look like they're going to tickle your ears um, and tickle your neck. They kind of do, but it's not um, it's not bad, um, like not in a bad way. But they it's hard to see how these could possibly be from a loom. And I was telling Juliana um, earlier that the original project that I was going to make for this live was a bracelet and I was just not happy with where it was going. I was just frustrated with it and I think it's just too boring. So I like shoved everything aside and I pulled out this. This is yarn that I found. I can't remember where I got this. I either got it at Walmart or I got it at Joanne Fabric and it is uh, it's scrubby and it says it's great for dishcloths. And when you feel this, you know that, yeah, it has kind of has that dishcloth feel, but it's a really, it's a really good feel. And before I go further, I am so sorry for this ugly band aid. Um, I should not be trusted in the kitchen. <laughs> I totally burned my thumb on a hot pan last night. So um, it's an ugly band. Oh, no, that's it. terrible. I'm so sorry, but it, if you could see it, you would be completely Oh, gosh. Out. So anyways. Yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I grabbed this and I grabbed some hemp and I just, I don't, I can't even tell you, like something just took me, it took over my body and my mind and these little earrings came to be. So um, in the, in the uh, links um, or in the uh, link to the project, this is the yarn that I used. And part of the allure of this is it's got some really like cool little threads hanging off of it, which make that like spiky effect on the actual earring. So that's what I'm gonna be using. I'm just using some hemp from my stash. Then we've got these little uh, crimp uh, components, which I'm sure you've all seen these. They're very readily available. These have a little bit of a texture on them. And I can't remember the size. I think they're like a half inch. And they're just perf a perfect size. You'll need a couple of ear wires. I used French hooks. So I'm going to set those off to the side. Um, Tool-wise, you need a pair of scissors, a ruler, and um, I've got some flat nose pliers, um, and you need some tape. And I'll I'll explain that. Okay. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna get started now. I'm gonna like do a little bit of true confession. So um, I'm still a beginner with with working on a loom. Um, you know, Juliana, our story, we've known each other for a while, but I think I started working on the loom like a year ago and <laughs> I have not like, I've not done a ton of projects. I've, I've done, um, a few, but, um, true confession, I've never done any project with beads. I, I think I was really drawn to doing this because I, I, I had been acquiring a bunch of textiles and cording and yarn, and I had no idea why. Well, apparently it was because of this. It hadn't <laughs> come into my life yet, but That's it cool. did shortly thereafter. So, so I kind of did some of this, learned some of this from watching your videos and watching everybody else do it. And in part, I just kind of felt my way through it. So I want to ask for forgiveness that if I don't call things the right thing or I don't do it the right way, um, I apologize. But um, I think that gives testimony to anybody can do it because you just you just sit down and let the process take you. So just that's that's where that's where I want to start. So okay. you're so good. Here's, so here's what I did. Um, I just kind of started in in the center and I probably warp um, in a weird way um, but I'm gonna go and skip 
one of the grooves and go up, make sure it's skipped up there. And this is awkward to show. And then I'm gonna come back through and let me know if I'm ever off camera, Julia. Yeah, you're perfect. Okay. So I've got three warps here. And what I did was I actually tied it on the back. And I know that's probably not how you typically do this. It doesn't matter. I love what you're doing. So wait, let me make sure I got this right on the front here. There's no weaving police. <laughs> We're good. All right. Good. So I'm going to just do a little knot back here. Nothing fancy. And again, like I feel like this is a, um, a project for beginners because you really, you really can't mess this up, I don't think. So I'm gonna push off my excess here. So I've got three strands. Then I'm gonna get about, for one earring, you probably only need about two feet of this, I think, roughly. But I'm like a, a more, more is more kind of person. So I just like to be safe. <laughs> so I pulled off a lot more than that. Please. So you can be your own judge. Yeah. And, and you'll kind of see how this goes. But I'm going to tie on my end here. And I love this yarn because it's that like variegated deal. So... Yes. And this, call, I mean, is does this not scream Easter and spring? Like, hello. It's so fun. <laughs> it screams margaritas and daiquiris. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tequila sunrise. <laughs> it's so, screaming Costa Rica right now. <laughs> so here's what I do with the other end. So I don't really like that this is sort of, you know, squirrely at the end. So I take about an inch or so, inch and a half of tape. And I just tape up the end of my material. And I've been doing this with all of my weaving so far. So, you know, talk about the cheapest tool in town. Like you don't need a needle. You don't need to try and string this through something. This is your easy way to to weave with some yarn or some some kind of cording or something. Yeah, that's right. If you now there is a wood needle that comes with the sun weaver and a comb. But if you misplace them, that is like a phenomenal idea. And the needle that comes with it, I'm using it right now. Um, it's longer, so I do. I was actually looking for my baby needle, um, but I love that idea. That's super clever. So I just, I mean, yeah, I kind of, that's kind of where I think I just have like learned my own way of doing it. And, yeah. and I feel like when I've sat down to work on the loom, it's just one of those like relaxing, like Zen moments, like put on some, you know, some classical music or put on, you know, some new age and just you know just enjoy the motion of this and i'm just really loosely using my hands to do this i'm actually standing right now but i usually am sitting mm -hmm. when i do this and you know a, maybe a cup of coffee or <laughs> um, or, you know, or a margarita or a sunrise or something, whatever your pre preferred whatever drink your preference is. Be. <laughs> Love it. And so I just, you know, I just find that this is one of the most relaxing projects. Um, 
you know, I, if, if you do see my work, most of it is stringing and I do a lot of complicated stringing projects. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, I've got a lot of stuff going on usually in front of me, beads and wire and charms and spacers and all kinds of craziness. And this is a nice kind of break from that. Like, look at this. Just, this is totally zen. <laughs> yeah. You know what I love about it too is like, I thought that this was a perfect travel project. So like if you're gathering some ideas for the summer, maybe you go to the shore if you're on the East Coast or to the lake or, you know, to the beach, wherever, whatever, you, wherever you might be going. Um, whether it's the original jewel loom or the sun weaver and then some yarn and, you know, either the way you did your little needle or the needle that comes with it. It's such a perfect travel project. Yeah. And I, I, you know, it's not time consuming, terribly time consuming. Um, I actually did kind of road test how long it takes to make one okay and i think it's about 50 minutes ish okay um, and you know you could probably speed it up a little bit if you're more of an expert or you're a much more experienced uh person with working with the loom but i still have to really sort of zhuzh things and um, pay attention to what I'm doing, right? Because I feel like I'm, I'm still, you know, still sort of learning my way of using it. So, yeah, but it's super fun that you are in essence a new weaver, and you're really just allowing the process to happen and not worried about it. You know, you're just having fun and you're doing a great job and everyone's in love with this project. <laughs> so I'm just going to say score like so cool. I feel like until you get maybe about an inch into any of these projects, it really doesn't look like anything. Yeah. I don't know. If, I don't know if any, if that's like a, a thing. Yeah. It's but... pretty much the thing. Cause we always talk about like how the first row is like, sometimes a little more fun than humans are allowed to have just because for whatever reason. And then, yeah, it's like once you get a couple more weaves or a couple more rows, it's like it all starts to come together. And I like the multicolor here. And yeah. so, you know, if you, if you choose to try some other materials, like you want to take three different colors of, um, you know, of yarn or cording or whatever the case may be, like just that, that transition, that sort of ombre effect is so, yes. it's just so cool. And I think that's part of the allure of this little bobble of an earring. Um, so but, but I think it could actually be just a, a plain solo color too. It's still, you know, sure. still just a fun little something. And yeah, you know, no, it's a fun project for sure. Go get yourself like some chartreuse yarn or something. <laughs> some oh, yeah. beautiful pop of color. And heck, oh. in the winter, you could do, you know, holiday colors. And well, I already had somebody say Fourth of July. So they're, they're like red, red, and blue. <laughs> that would be great. Oh, yeah, I, need, I need to go. I need to go try that next. Yeah. Yeah, no, you could definitely coordinate them with everything, holidays, birthdays. I mean, just really school functions, you yeah. know, or your cheerleading outfits or whatever. Your favorite baseball team today yes. is opening day. I um, know. Go baseball. Dodgers. <laughs> Go Diamondbacks. <laughs> uh, Joe's and, like, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> 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 oh, poor girl. Uh oh. <laughs> I always, not... you know, Joan is, is it three whole hours, Joan? Yeah, she's shaking her head. Oh my God. Why do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? Though? Why do you keep showing up? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank God so, you show up. Oh my God, I can't even imagine. <laughs> Don't ever leave me. So we Don't started. To us. Joan is like Joan is like um, everybody's everybody's woman. She is. She's a woman for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> she takes care of a lot of us. She's so, so awesome. I'm thinking to myself, I hope someday I need someone like Joan. Like, I hope I'm, I'm that, that uh, busy that I need help at some point. Yeah. <laughs> but Joan, Joan will probably be, you know, too expensive at that point. So, <laughs> I don't know. She, 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 and she might be like, look, girlfriend, you're way too high maintenance for me. <laughs> oh, my God. So I hope I hope this isn't terribly boring watching, you know, watching me weave. No. This. But look at how the, the color is starting to come together. It's just it's such a it's such a neat yarn. Um, I'm actually thinking about buying some of the other colors of this stuff. But before I do that, I want to take this yarn and this loom and force myself to start using beads and intermix beads with this that's going to be my next my next challenge for myself because i gotta start using beads i can't i can't fight it anymore I yeah and the, it. Fun, the fun thing about that is that you can you can definitely play with what you have and just make the warps you know the size that they need to be and um, you know, use all kinds of different beads. That's, I love mixing it up. Yeah. I, I think, I mean, there's endless options when we're talking about beads. I mean, as anybody that makes jewelry or is interested in making jewelry knows there's, you know, five kajillion beads <laughs> out there and, you know, it just takes that one time of trying something that, you know, you, you never tried working with before and you fall madly in love. So, yeah. Aww. It's so, so true. It's so so true. we are, we are working towards about two and a quarter inches oh, okay. of, of weaving here. Okay. So I'm trying to, um, squish that's probably not the technical term, but try to squish down the material. <laughs> That's Deb's version of what we're doing. Um, try to, you know, get the fibers together, but not terribly tight. Like they don't have to be super tight. So, but I do want them to, you know, come together nicely. So we're just trying to achieve about two and a quarter inches um, to get that little, that little poof and I'll, sh and I'll reveal how we're actually going to make the poof once I've got this done. And so, I was thinking, sorry. Oh, I, I was just going to say, I was thinking too, like, wouldn't it be fun to, um, just add seed beads as just like a little bit of glimmer. Yeah. So like, I was just thinking that, yeah. Just a little, like a little sparkle. So it's maybe some, yeah. some silver or some gold or something like that. Oh, yeah. Some pretty gold. Put them in there. They would look so cool. Yeah. And what's fun is you can weave in a row, you know, in yeah. the yarns. And I love that look. I'd love to see somebody do that. Yeah. It might not be me. So I'd love to see somebody <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just Ask in case that. I don't do it. I Ask want somebody to do it. Someone. <laughs> someone take that torch and try it. Uh, so look at how that. So now it finally looks like something. I yep. feel like. like it's finally starting to come together. Oops. And I, I stumbled on this yarn. Um, so I'm pretty sure it was Joanne fabric. And I stumbled on it. That stuff too. Um, I that's where I've gotten a lot of mine. My that that funky stuff at Michael's. But I can't imagine Joanne's doesn't have it. I I normally when I go into any of those places, I go straight for the 
you know, the jewelry supply area, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, but I, I have on occasion when I've had some time, like I force myself to tour the entire store. Like I walk it up and down every aisle yeah. and it's amazing what ends up in my cart. Does anybody <laughs> else like experience this? Like you go, you end up like, why did I buy this? I don't even know yeah. why I bought this. Yeah. But this was on one of those kind of uh, excursions. Like, okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna see what jumps in and who knows what will come of it. And well, then I got a loom and <laughs> so this just, um, this was a match made in heaven here. Yeah, that's so funny. I love going to Joanne's and walking through the fabric aisles, but I'm so stinking short. It's hysterical. I always feel like I'm going to get eaten by some bolt of material. <laughs> it's true. They're like so high. Yes. You know, and they're so big. And but I love looking at the fabric. I've never been a sewer. Um, that's something I always wanted to do. And I think yeah. it's sort of fallen out of favor a little bit, but I would still love to maybe not necessarily sew clothing, but so, you know, like little bags or little um, accessory kind of things that you could add beads to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you can uh, take the large sun weaver and, and weave her on both the front and back and get quite a long piece for a scarf. Oh, I love that. And, I think I've seen that. Yeah, and Christian actually did a video on using the large sun weaver, the large goddess at the time, um, uh, to make a scarf. And she she literally marked up the teeth, and it's on her it's on her YouTube channel, um, and it's just unreal what she did. I was like, "You did what? <laughs> you did what?" She had a picture with the goddess upside down. Uh, in between two couches, I was like, what are you doing? Do you what know, the heck? Have, did you ever get to meet Christian from JTV? She's not, she doesn't, she's not on there now, but she was there for like 500 years. It seemed like I, I never met her, but I did watch her for years. Okay. Yeah. And, she um, made all of us look really good, by the way. <laughs> she, she, she is uber talent. Yeah, she does a lot of, of stuff. And I, I actually stumbled on her working with your loom just, you know, as I was familiarizing myself with all the video that was out there. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, look at her. <laughs> yeah, she she fell in love with the jewel loom and she really I'd show up to do segments and she's like, OK, well, I did blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> say, what? Yeah. yeah. In addition to like all the other multi-talented things that she can, yeah, she's extremely well-rounded. Uh, I think um, I think a lot of people that make jewelry have a tendency to make other things. Like I know a ton of jewelry making people who actually um, they crochet or they. Yeah. <laughs> um, didn't they, she break out crochet or something? Jill Weisman, I think she was crocheting. She was doing something, knitting or crocheting. Kn knitting is the other one too. Okay. I, I tried knitting. Um, I took one class, and uh, the, I let's just say that the like the knitting needles are still in that yeah. project somewhere in a bag, oh, so like in the back of my closet. <laughs> yeah, I um. Well, I grew up with crochet and that knitting with my Portuguese grandma. So, ah. um, but that does not mean I could sit here and teach it to you. I'm just would be probably familiar with a couple things, but um, yeah, weaving is my jam. Well, I think we, we gravitate towards the thing that we're the best at and we dabble in the other things. Um, yeah. My, my other favorite craft, is um i like to decoupage yes oh my god did you used to watch aline's i yeah i think i've i so i i i didn't regularly but i know i've stumbled on like you know historical stuff from yeah from that yeah. well you know that's where i got my start yes 
And so, yeah, we did decoupage. We decoupaged anything and everything. <laughs> <laughs> anything that wasn't moving. <laughs> anything that wasn't moving. And then, of course, you know, we had the bread dough uh, roses that uh, that Joan Fee uh, loved to do. And, oh, my gosh, there was so much creativity on that show. Holy cow. We need a show like that again. Well, you know, they're just really, after her and Carol, nobody... You know, I don't think anybody um, sustained. I mean, Kathy and Steve, you know, they did a great, great job on their show. Um, but really, there just hasn't been much. Yeah. You know, I think they try to modernize it a little too much when they do come out with something or make it so mainstream that they forget who their their customer is, you know, who the viewer is. Yeah. So then it's just not really um, practical. Yeah. And I think crafting has really changed. I mean, yeah. you know, decoupage is another one of those things that like, you know, you're, everybody thinks, oh, that's a, like a grandma thing to do. And, <laughs> and then it's, you know, it's a cool technique. It's, it's fun. And I, when I started making jewelry and started selling jewelry, my plan yeah. was to make all my boxes that I would put my sold pieces in decoupaged and then uh -huh. i realized what kind of undertaking that might be <laughs> and let's just say i've only done that for a few family members and friends oh, over the years. so funny <laughs> it's a lot of work to and now you're trying to achieve how what two inches or two, two in about two and a quarter okay so i'm i'm I know everybody's like, geez, Louise, Deb, hurry up. Um, oh, no, but, no, no, no. I think it's, I think people actually get mesmerized and, and watch and listen. So, yeah, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah, I have about, I don't know, maybe two inches of, of weave with the hemp. So I'm doing three different hemp cords. Oh, I can't wait to see how that comes out. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be very basic. But, but it's going to be fun. It's still like, going to be really fun. And I'm going to add some, some beads. So I washed, oh my God, I didn't even tell anybody this. My favorite pair of seed bead earrings from the pattern that we, we did that one time, Joan. And I always wear them and they got the little yellow dangly bead. Yeah. Guess who washed and dried them? <gasps> so did you um, do that? I'm such a geek. So one of them survived. The other one, I'm hoping there's somehow I can fix it. So the pattern didn't come apart. It was the sliders. Oh. Um, one of them got eaten. Um, mm. And so, yeah, I was like, are you, I wanted to just puke. Oh. I was so upset. Awful. Like, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> it's awful when something like that happens. So awful. But now you're going to have to make another pair, right? Well, I, I do somehow think um, I'm going to be able to fix it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm, you know determined. What? I'm determined to fix it. <laughs> well, that's see, I think, I think jewelry, jewelry making is mostly problem solving. Yeah. So we have all become accustomed to let's find a way. So yeah. you'll find a way. You'll find yeah. a way to fix it. Listen, when I taught a class at JTV like years ago, somebody, we were making a bracelet and somebody literally, literally cut their piece off. And we refer to it as like cutting their head off. And <sighs> she came to me and she was like, can you fix this? And by the grace of the bead gods, I don't know how I did it, but I did. And wow. so, yeah, it was so sad, but we fixed it. <laughs> It's like that. Um, so, you know, if you're, if you're stringing a piece, so, you know, I, I do a lot of that. So you, I've, I've only done it a couple times, but you, you know, you, you go to trim off your, your like excess wire and you actually trim the oh wire yeah. that has the beads on it. And you're like, Oh, and the, you know, the beads go flying everywhere. And oh my God. you just hope that nobody sees it when it happens. Well, it's kind of so. like the little boo-boo I showed you and Joan. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. 
our Oops, little secret. secret. Our little secret until next week. <laughs> <laughs> I won't reveal it. I won't oh reveal it. Okay, so I'm having an idea here. Let's see. So is there anybody making their, uh, is anyone making along with us? I know sometimes Maria, she's really good. Ileana um, is good at that too. Like they just magically make just, whatever we're making. And they're like, oh, here, da, 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 da. Done. <laughs> Done. It's already posted in the Jewel Loom group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be still stringing my what? piece and Ileana was, will yeah, we're still, we're we're still over here weaving. How'd you get it done? <laughs> yeah, they're amazing. Maria's <laughs> like this little seed bead queen. Oh, I love it. I, I yeah, Someday yeah. I aspire to be a seed bead queen. Yeah, she, <laughs> she's always like, she does the whole nine though. She like breaks out the, the whole, you know, uh, bracelet and the matching earrings and she's fun oh, awesome awesome yeah. awesome the jeweling group is um it's special man well i i see them and i see what they're all doing and it's crazy it is amazing and i that's why i feel like i'm still such a beginner with this thing but you know, I think part of the part of your creative journey is about learning and experiencing yeah. new things. So yeah. we should always be a beginner at something. Absolutely. So now, we all learn. Absolutely. And you only are going to get, you know, the thing is, is it's so great that um, there are people who are like, oh, I'm just, I'm going to throw this out there. I'm going to share what I made. And they feel safe enough to do that. And I just, it's... Um, it makes me super proud of our group, you know, like everyone is so um, supportive. And if anyone ever has a question. Yeah, they're, that's, just really, they're good stuff. They're good the stuff, beauty. those jewel loomers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I am going to do my last pass here. Okay. And I don't know why, I don't know if this is a thing, but I like to tie the other end on the other side. So I started on this side, but I'm gonna end on this side. I don't know why. Okay. But I'm gonna cut so that I can finish this off without having to go too crazy with making a knot. So the, um, the other thing is if you are going to use some sort of uh, variegated yarn or something that you have to just be okay with, like, you're never going to get it exactly in the pattern, but for this project, you don't need to worry about it anyways. Like it doesn't matter. So this is our, this is our little woven section. Look at all oh that texture. So cute. <laughs> so cute. So then I need to start releasing all of the extra. So I'm going to start with cutting my tail a little bit shorter over here. And this tail. And then I'm going to cut like this tail, that tail. And I get all this nonsense out of my way. <laughs> and this is the part where I know like if you've got a really complicated woven project, this is the scary part. But honestly, I don't think you have to be very scared about this because we've just got a small section and getting it off carefully is good, but um, I'm actually gonna cut and I'm just going to carefully pull this off and take my lovely goddess. I'm going to put her in a safe place behind me. I don't want a cat to get, get at it. <laughs> Could easily happen around here. So this looks like kind of a mess, but um, what I do is I'm going to have to cut a little bit more of that um, tail off. 
but I just kind of do my scrunching and because one end is a little bit shorter than the other um, cord wise, hemp wise, I just want to give myself a little bit more so you can move this, which is awesome. So let me cut these tails just a little bit more. They don't have to be too short. God, these scissors are terrible. <laughs> Lord, time for a new pair of scissors <laughs> or get find the good ones that are somewhere in this studio. All right. So to give myself less to work with, I'm going to cut over here. Okay. So this is what I'm left with is this little piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half. This is where the magic of this piece happens. So we're going to fold it. And I'm going to tie just a regular overhand knot with all the pieces of the cord. And it pulls it into a little loop, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then. Oh, fun. Then, and I'm going to kind of shape it a little bit. I'm going to tie one more knot up and that will be sort of on top of it. Okay. So just another overhand knot. And I'm going to pull that sucker tight. And see, you've got this really cute little poof and God. now if you want if it would make you feel better you could drop some glue some hypo gs hypo cement in here yeah. but i have not done that with my other ones but if it would make you feel better you could do that okay and that's a glue by beetle on yeah they do sell that yeah so then i'm going to grab this and I'm actually going to cut again. Now, this is tough because you don't want to cut off too much, but you don't want too much because you need to be able to fit your little finding over what we have left. So I'm going to get about that close. So I'm going to grab my scissors. Ooh, this is a scary part. <laughs> uh, now I'm grabbing right. some white glue. Okay. I'm going to just pull on those and then I'm going to take my little finding, my little crimp finding, and I'm going to put it over those little, this is tricky. And you're going to probably get some of your, if you have this yarn, you're probably going to get some of your little yarn pieces in there. That's totally okay. But I'm going to push that in there. And I'm going to use flat nose pliers. I'm going to do one end. And I use um, Tool Magic for my um, pliers because I I don't want to mess up this little finding. These, these little findings are probably made from, you know, aluminum or whatever. I'm using a little, um, like a soldering pick to push in at the other end. Then I'm just going to push down the other side. And then I'm going to do the whole crimp the whole thing and the top actually this one doesn't look too bad sometimes you'll get a little visibility of your hemp but I think it's perfectly fine yeah and, can, and here's my tail sticking out so I'm just going to trim that guy and if you want to just give it one more pinch for good measure now look I mean it doesn't look like it came off of a loom, but it sure did. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I super, yeah. Super, super fun. And heck. the last thing you're going to do is the easiest thing, and that's put it on a dang ear wire. <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And I, I like to look at the sides and see which which side of the poof I actually like the best. And oh, then, yeah. good point. Good point. And then you can zhuzh it a little bit. So this this particular, um, you know, this this stuff, um, you know, has a lot of move, you know, movement. So you can you can do it however you would like. Zhuzh it around a little bit. And I actually cheated and made the other one because I don't think you would all want to watch me make two of these. Um, but here's the pair. Oh my gosh. Absolutely fabulous, fun, funky. <laughs> oh my gosh. How lucky are we? Mm, they're so uh, fun. fun. Yeah. So, yeah. I think anybody could make this. Yeah. Yeah. And I think um, we might want to, I mean, Joan, after, I mean, not, just a thought would be that at some point, maybe we tag when it comes off the loom. You know how sometimes you do that? Yeah. Cause then you get, if people want to get right to that, to better understand. Yeah. And I, I know the, the, the weaving of this, you know, took a long time for me because I still, I, was still, I'm, I try to be very careful still because I'm not an expert. So I, I'm a little so little adore little. you. I, Everything you did was perfect. There was nothing weird. You didn't say anything weird or wrong. No, you can bring me back up if you're, are you done, Deb? Yeah, I'm, I'll turn myself around too. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, how lucky are we? I love it. Oh, where are you at? Oops, I'm coming around. Okay. Oh, here. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> <laughs> so fun i'm gonna put oh this on so we'll totally tag that you know like go to for whatever minute it was when you started to do the finishing technique so that people if they want to because some people are saying they came in later but okay so this is what i did <gasps> oh my gosh i love that that's so it's your, it's your sister's, it's your sister earring. So That's I weave, phenomenal. I weaved a lime hemp. It's like a lime hemp. Whoopsie. And then I did the taffy and this is 0.5. And then I did the dark purple that we all love. And I, I warped with dark purple. And then I took my funky yarn and I just did little Raya knots and then I did take some of Aline's um, tacky glue, the white glue, and I put it up underneath her skirt here. So oh, I it, love it, that. And then I did put some on the top because when I put my pincher, my ribbon crimp um, on there. And so, yeah, these are going to be really funky. If I can't get the other one going because I do have to pack, I'm leaving in the morning. I was also thinking it would make a super cool um, pendant. A pendant or something, but you earrings are on a choker. Anything, right? <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god, how much fun! Look at your look at. I want to wear mine though. I want to wear it. Oh my um, god, that. So see how like once yeah. you get going, like yeah. one thing leads to another to another. So yeah. honestly, if if people haven't even tried this yet, like look no. at the different possibilities yeah like if you okay. want the little balls that's awesome or if you want to like go big go home and have like real cool you know put your hair up or whatever and yeah yeah or turn it into a pendant but oh my gosh i love this you inspired me to like sit here and actually get it done oh which my gosh. is such a blessing because i feel sometimes like i don't ever really get to sit and just enjoy so i'm i'm thrilled love it love it love it so I'm thrilled. <laughs> that so is I'm going to do the ribbon crimp. Um, I don't know if I'll do a 12 millimeter or 20. 20 might be a little. Let me see. Do you know what you used? A 12 or a 20? The crimp? Yeah. Um, well, I know it's a half an inch. Okay. So I think that's 20. No, that's 20. 
So this looks like I probably am going to have to use a 20. Um, so, yeah, that seems a little, yeah, because yeah. you've got little, more warps there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you. That's 12 mil millimeters is half an inch. <laughs> Great. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now I know. <laughs> There's Joan. There's God. Joan making this look so smart. <laughs> Thanks, Joan. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So um, where are you next? Um, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm doing a little bit of everything. Um, okay. so I, I'm still doing a little bit for Jesse James speed. So, oh, good. okay. So you'll see, you'll see the occasional, you know, sparkly beads from Jesse James beads from me. Um, I've got a couple of other things in the works coming up fairly soon, which I'm Yay. very excited about. Okay. Um, and I'm going to be building my YouTube content. So yes. I did a, like the nerdiest video ever for like jewelry, jewelry nerdism. Um, <laughs> tell me, tell me about toggles. Okay. That's the video. So. Oh my God. Okay. So nerd alert. Like if, I love you, it. if you love jewelry making, you might be a nerd like me and love that. But okay. if. if so I'm going to be doing some some videos that go a little bit deeper on topics. That's good. Um, so I'm excited about that. And absolutely, I'm just making. I'm just okay. making and making, and the the beads are flying. And um, and I'm now thinking about my next move with the loom. Like I really want to. I want to try to get some beads incorporated. So maybe I'll start with beads and. Nice material some other material and then i'm going to dive into full-on beads okay i love it i love it well <laughs> you have an affiliate link with jewel loom and yeah. so we always like to make sure that people um use the designer's affiliate link so that um you get a piece of the pie and so if you're going to be investing in any of the jewel loom products that you uh, saw today, please use Deb's affiliate link. And uh, Joan has that all posted. Yeah. If you don't have a sun weaver, this is a small sun weaver and she does come with a needle, um, a wood needle and a wooden comb for weaving. And so that would be awesome. And I am so grateful to you. I I'm leaving tomorrow morning to go to the Creativation NAPTA show in Ohio. So I'm super excited about that. I'll be sharing all of that love probably here and there throughout the weekend. And uh, and then on the 5th, our, our boyfriend, Neele, my baby daddy, <laughs> we're going to be on and I'm going to be doing the gemstone um, bracelet. I know. It's I just so... Can't. It's so beautiful. And we've sold out twice on all the gemstones. So next week I'll be doing another order um, because after you see everything, you'll probably want more. <laughs> so that is so, so fun. Um, and yeah, and then I come back and uh, get ready for to go to Prague, which I'm like, I don't even know. I just can't. I'm so stinking excited. So incredibly jealous, but so happy for you and i can't wait to hear your stories yeah i can't i can't <laughs> wait either and so i have to buy a trench coat because of the weather is going to be kind of like springy late spring so right. it was trench you know i did all this research so trench coat and some good walking shoes because it's mm -hmm. all very cobblestony and i don't want to um be in my big girl shoes and break my ankle okay stephanie says she got her gemstones today yay, yay. yeah yeah, I've been a mad woman shipping stuff out. Everyone's just like, oh, I so need help. <laughs> my, I can, oh my gosh. Yeah. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Okay. Um, over the top grateful for you, Deb. And I really just, I admire you. And I think your design skills are like off the charts. Fabulous. And I know that it's nothing but amazing coming your way. I already see it. You are already there. And I'm so honored that you would say yes to come and hang out with us. And I hope you come back. Well, thank you so much for having me. I mean, honestly, I feel exactly the same about you. And I'm so honored to be 
sitting next to you here on the screen. <laughs> right. Um, you know, before I knew you, you were one of those that I would just, you know, oh, she's so wonderful and she's so amazing. And so I feel very honored to be here. So thank you You're so much for having me. Well, it's um, awesome how together. we've all been brought. We've all been brought together, and it's really sweet and beautiful. And um, I love our incredible community of talent um, that shows up to watch on the Jewel Loom School. That shows up to watch Danielle and Trisha and Neele and Sam and all of us. You know, it's just really sweet. We're going to definitely help you get to your thousand. That's my goal is to help everyone who needs to get to their their thousand on their YouTube channel because it really does make a difference. It takes a lot to build um, a YouTube channel, but getting to that thousand follower mark is like gold because then it, then you can start to figure out all the other things. Right. And I'm such a big supporter of um, having that multiple streams of income. It's very important in this season, y'all. Like you, I don't want any of you... I, it's hard for me when I see somebody speak of lack, I want to just like lose my Cheerios. Don't talk about lack. Don't. I get it. I'm not saying keep your head in the sand, but but let's focus on what, well, what else can we do? What else can we learn? Because that is knowledge is key. So just do all the things that make sense. Just keep, keep at it. Keep trying. Yeah. Try something different. Try something new. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there's my little, <laughs> my little speech, but I'm so passionate about everybody. I don't want anybody to feel that. It drives me nuts. I'm like, no, don't talk like that. <laughs> there's enough. There is enough. So, and we're all going to help each other stay afloat. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We all got to, we're, we're all in this together the way I see yeah. it. And Marlon Brando has to eat. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I got three cats to feed. Come I do have three cats. To feed. <laughs> Who cares about us? We just care about our animals. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. I absolutely adore you. I can't wait to see you again. And um, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thanks, everyone. Yes, thanks. <laughs> I love you, Jaloom community. You're fabulous. I can't wait to see what you all make. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the fun part. Please make this your version and post it in the Jewel Loom. Make sure um, are you, you're in the group, right? Yeah. In the, yeah, of course. Yeah. So make sure you tag uh, Deb so she can see what you birthed because that makes us both happy is when you, yes. yeah, when you do what we tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. See y'all. Bye, everyone.